Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Saturday Science with Miss Steph. Take two. So we had a little issue earlier with the Facebook recording of Saturday Science with Miss Steph live. And so you are actually coming on for the reprise, ladies and gentlemen, you're coming on for the reprise. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of things rather quickly, and then feel free to um, watch and try this at home. There are some safety tips that you need to be aware of to try this at home. I repeat, there are a few safety tips that you need to be aware of if you're going to try this at home. The first safety thing is that you need a well ventilated area and you must have adult supervision. Why? Because of this one material. Everything else is pretty safe for children except for this particular thing. Anyone who has any challenges with breathing, breathing and so forth needs to really be safe with this and needs to make sure that they read the warnings that are on the back. So that is my disclaimer, okay? Make safe choices, make sure you have adult supervision and work in a well-ventilated area. That being said, let's proceed. As I said, this is Saturday Science with Miss Steph, the reprise. I am Miss Steph, Stephanie Farmer, the founder and direct director of Triple F Empowerment Inc. We operate Miss Steph Science Club. Miss Steph Science Club, for those of you who have just started to follow us recently, actually is comprised of quite a few things. One thing in particular is our Summer Science Club, and we are actually currently operating the ninth Summer Science Club. We were founded in 2012 by yours truly and several other board members who wanted to walk in the vision of providing hands-on, engaging STEAM education for the youth of Harlem. And now, of course, we can work with you wherever you might be because of how things are presented via the internet. And specifically, this video is being uploaded to YouTube. So don't forget to like and subscribe because guess what? Liking and subscribing helps me out and makes sure that other people are able to see this video. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the activity. I did a little tester and if you follow um, M S S T E P H underscore T F E on Instagram, you can see the live that I did at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time today. And I did some testing of what types of liquid can help remove, everybody say remove, remove oil pastel from surfaces, right? So oil pastels are one of the really fun art materials that we use in our STEAM program, Miss Stuff Science Club. And in particular, we used it yesterday at our virtual um, summer science club. During virtual summer science club, students come on, they log in, and they get some private instruction. It's actually sometimes the students are getting two teachers, okay, um, per student. Yeah, and so we're really trying to make sure we're providing engaging and um, really quality educational experiences, even during these times, during COVID and so forth. That being said, like I said, um, oil pastels are one of the things that we use. And one might wonder, okay, so what if I get some oil pastel on my table? Am I directly onto my work surface? Well, guess what? Um, like I said, check out the Instagram post. But on Instagram, I went, I did some musings. I went through just plain water and a paper towel, and that did not do a good job. Even on a, off of a plastic plate, that did not pull all of the pastel smudge off, okay? And these are oil pastels. I think I mentioned that. I'm going to try, this, try to do this video in one take and with very minimal editing, so just roll with it, folks. Roll with it, right? Um, we tried water. Then we tried hand sanitizer, which folks may or may not have, but that's kind of one of the things that is like a buzz 
kind of material that folks are talking about these days. And so we tried hand sanitizer. And I also tried a little Windex, old school Windex, like the real original formula Windex. Believe it or not, Windex can do quite a bit when it comes to cleaning. However, the wind, not even the Windex removed all of the sludge. So that was water, hand sanitizer, and Windex. Hmm. Then I thought to myself, well, the oil, okay, the oil in the oil pastel might dissolve a little bit with some mineral oil, which is really the main component of baby oil. Um, so try that. That didn't work. Then I tried one of my trusty dandy, okay, Mr. Clean Magic Sponge Sheets, because they now do come in sheets. And guess what? That's the thing that worked. So I'm going to tilt you down and recreate just the very end of that particular adventure so that you can see live, like for real, that it actually works. Okay? This video, no, totally is not sponsored by Mr. Clean um, Sheets, but thought you would like to know, what can you use? Should you, after doing the art part of what we're going to do in a little bit, um, get your oil pastel on your working surface, what thing is going to remove the smudges off of the working surface? And guess what? I figured out something that works quite well. All right, so let's tilt. Let's look. All right, so you should be work looking at my work surface. And I'm literally going to take the black and color it directly onto my table. You may be thinking to yourself, Miss Steph has lost her mind. Okay, but guess what? I know that this works. So like I said, I tried water. It's oil based, so it makes sense that the water didn't work. I tried hand sanitizer, which, I mean, there's some stuff out there saying that hand sanitizer is like the end all be all, but guess what? It did not work. Then, like I said, I tried some baby oil because I was like, well, maybe I can dissolve the stuff, right, with the baby oil. So, hey, let me take you through that part of the experiment. Again, this is Saturday Science with Miss Steph, and we're doing a reprise because we had some issues with the original filming. All right, so you see what happens with the baby oil. So it does like start to come up, all right? But the whole smudge doesn't completely come off. Now, so first of all, so you can see that quite a bit does come off if you use the baby oil right away. But I tell you, if you try some other stuff, that other stuff will like anchor it in there and it won't come off, all right? Now, this is one of the smudges because you should be able to see that I've still got some stuff on there. All right, sponge. Okay. Sponge is breaking it down a bit. Okay. So if I'm wanting to remove pastel from my table. I can do that by using one of these sponges. So look at the back, of, look at the sponge, see? Again, like I said, this is not sponsored by Mr. Queen and all that, um, but yeah, okay? So that is one of the ways that you can use uh, to remove oil pastel and specifically Faber oil <laughs> pastel made for children from your surface, right? And so isn't that great to know before we start our project? Let's go ahead and move on. Other things that I kind of worked out and figured out during today's live is that I, I wanted to have some fun, which I always want to have fun, but specifically I wanted to have some fun with trying out oil pastels with brushes and Q-tips and all kinds of stuff on a plastic plate. Okay. So I took a plastic plate. Here's my sample that I that I made earlier. I took a plastic plate because I was kind of trying to work this like stained glass kind of thing. Took a plastic plate and used some mineral oil. And this is what I got. So you see how it's there, but it's starting to um, 
what are some words that I want to use? Kind of melt down. You see how like I'm getting some streaks due to the simple fact that it's oil on a plastic plate, right? Which is a smooth surface. So it's going to not clean off well, but it's going to slide. And so if I wanted to hang this up as a piece of art on my wall, to do that would be challenging. So I did some testing and I took some of the materials that I have in the Science Club cabinets that are of course here, right with me here at the, uh, the Science Club Annex. And for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know where the Science Club Annex is. Come on, it's, it, it's, it's COVID times, guys. You know where I'm at, okay? Um, hashtag learn, learn from home, right? And so I grabbed some materials to be able to use the pastel along with the oil and so that it would anchor onto the plate. This is my tester. I took this substance, UV, okay? So I um, semi-gloss. So this is a varnish. This is something that is going to help my pastel stick to my plastic plate and will allow me to build, all right? When we're talking about steam, we're talking about science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. We're using those concepts, those anchor thought processes to be able to create fun and amazing and engaging things. And so I thought to myself, okay, I got to fix this whole plastic plate situation. I want to use the plastic plate as my canvas as my thing that I put my pigment on. How am I going to do that? Let's use my science knowledge and the materials that I've got around the annex, okay? To figure out how to put a layer between the pastel and the plate. And so that's what I used. Like I said, you're going to need some ventilation. Make sure you use it in a ventilated place. I would actually strongly suggest taking a paper bag if it's possible for you to do so. You can grab a paper bag. All right. Oh, I was trying to make it so you didn't, there was no logo, but whatever. I mean, yeah. Okay. So I took this paper bag and I actually put... This is the one that I'm going to use during our class time. You see how it's like a little cloudy? I took the paper bag, right? And then I sprayed in here so that I would minimize the amount of odor, harmful odor that I was getting in my space because it was not available to me personally to go outside and do this spraying. Um, because it's like um, raining and doing things in the Northeast, right? So you can tell it's sunny now, but the weather is very inconsistent these last couple of days because um, it's hurricane season, as a lot of us know. And so there's, um, for some people don't know, but um, those of us in the Northeast actually do get affected not as strongly as folks in the islands, but still um, like where my father is from. Um, second hint about where my dad is from. Um, my other hint is in the <laughs> Instagram video. Um, but we do have some like residual things that happen here. And um, sometimes we actually do get pretty strong um, situations and like um, that occur. That being said, that can be talked about in a video about the weather. But that being said, let's go back to our chemistry, right? So I took this, I made a safe choice sprayed in my bag, made sure I've got some open ventilation in my space, and use this. I'm an adult, so that I was my own adult supervision. But once again, just like I said at the beginning of the video, you need adult supervision for this, and you need significant ventilation. Those are my disclaimers. Don't come tell anybody that Ms. Depp told you you could just do this whatever. That's not what she did. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Right? You remember why I want to layer. 
because directly onto the plastic, it's slippery and it doesn't hold the color and I'm not able to build color. But you see here, right, this second layer, I'm able to build color all because of this spray on the plastic plate. And so again, you can see how the plastic plate is a little foggy now. That's because that spray is there. That spray actually dries rather quickly. So let's tilt you down and let's see if we can make some art, people. Doesn't that sound like fun? Shouldn't we do that? I think so. For those of you who do not know, I sing a bit. All right. Um, and I sing to my students, science. I sing in church, lots of singing, all right? Um, do, 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 do. And for effect, when I'm doing science, folks. All righty, so um, let's take a couple of these colors. I've, I'm going to keep, this is baby oil, okay? Baby oil, scientifically speaking, scientific term for baby oil, right? Mineral oil, and we know that mineral oil actually contains a lot of different compounds. Might look like water, but it is not as simple as water, nor is it something that will hydrate you. Okay, it is actually an opposite type of chemical. All right, again, we've talked about that already. Okay, so let's see if we can get some brass down. Do you see how I'm really able to get a nice layer of pigment down? Okay nice layer of pigment down. It's really sticking to the plastic. For those of you wondering, but Miss F, I want to see it now. I didn't see the Instagram video. I want to see it. Well, guess what? Here we go. This plate is untreated. You see that? Complete difference, right? But my treated plate, my treated plate and let the pastel stick to it, all right? So I'm doing a very, very quick little landscape, okay? There we go, do, 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 do. All right, let's give this landscape a bit of like a little texture, a little some, some, and add another color, right? Okay. What I've got right now. Again, I just wanted to know what hap what would happen if I use a plastic plate. And I wanted to challenge myself to use a plastic plate, okay, for an oil pastel project. I had to use my science knowledge, okay, my science knowledge to be able to make that work. That's not something that just would just like work automatically, okay? I had to challenge myself a little bit, okay? Now, um, let's see if we can get, use our oil. Let's see if our oil, okay, our baby oil effects, okay, where, where it will spread. See if we can do that now that we've got our UV layer down on our plate. Let's try it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right? Again, I'm able to get a lot more pigment down and stick to the surface now that I've got my layer of stuff down, right? Let's look at one more time to make sure this is my, my semi-gloss, okay? Here it is. Again, not advertising for these people. I'm just letting you know what I used. If you don't have an art store nearby, but you have... Um, a quote-unquote, say, big box store like a, actually, I don't want to call out names, but 
if you were able to get um, aerosol um, hairspray, you can actually try that, right? You can try some hairspray. I'm talking about the hairspray that's, you know, kind of from the 80s. <laughs> and your hair, like, stands up really high for a really long time. I'm not talking about stuff that's particularly healthy for you, for your hair. All right? But you can try that. Okay? So that's what this now looks like. Again, I'm just trying my hand at a quick little landscape. Right? Got my grass. And I've got my sky. See if I can get some clouds down. Here. I'm just showing you some of the things that I learned from doing an experiment earlier, thinking to myself, what do I need to do to be able to use a plastic plate for my base? If I want to use a plastic plate for a base for my artwork for my oil pastels, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I've got to put a layer of something between my plates and my pastel. And this is what I came up with. All right. Who thinks we should do a little faux sun here? A little sun up there in the sky. Okay. And my oil. All right. I'm using my oil, my knowledge that I have of the fact that oil, mineral oil, will help me spread out my pastel, right? So do we see what we have now? Do we see the, the significant difference between what I'm able to create on these two different plates? Because I used my science knowledge, I experimented, and I used my science knowledge to create something. I think that you all will probably make an amazing piece of art as long as you use your science knowledge, your creativity, and of course, make safe choices. Once again, this is Miss Steph with Saturday Science with Miss Steph. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? This was my secret ingredient today. This was my power substance, all right? Try it and um, see what happens. Have a wonderful day. Make sure that you have some great time experimenting and being creative. Thank you so much for watching.